upgrade your smartphone with Appalachian Wireless, get $300 off selected models. Capture memories, stream, and stay connected with the latest technology. Visit one of our stores or AppalachianWireless.com right now. One University of Kentucky researcher participated in a study that linked lifetime interpersonal violence to an increased risk of diabetes. So the focus of this paper is really to look at the association between the combination, what we're calling interpersonal violence, that could occur any time in a person's life. We're specifically looking at intimate partner violence being physical, sexual, or psychological, and or child abuse or neglect. So having experienced either of those. The other component is that we're looking at risk of developing, not that the person has the disease, but risk of developing diabetes. Lifetime Interpersonal Violence or Abuse and Diabetes by Sex and Race was the study that was recently published in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine. Lifetime Interpersonal Violence is associated with a 20% to 35% increased risk of developing diabetes, Dr. Coker explained in the University of Kentucky press release. If we can identify things that can be prevented, here we're talking about violence, then what we can do with that prevention of violence, as well as prevention of diabetes. Preventing violence could prevent diabetes. That's an important component to look at, just from the perspective of both are fairly common. Coker, in association with researchers at Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee, reviewed data from the Southern Community Cohort Study to research the relationship between diabetes and IVA. The team said the study fills a gap in existing literature on diabetes and provides extra evidence to support trauma-related assessments. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.